South Africa's international ballet competition is taking place from the 23rd until the 28th of February. It's happening in Cape Town at Artscape, where local and international dancers are competing for top honours. Well, one of those dancers are locally, well, 16-year-old Leroy Mohatle, who is competing as well. And I must say, he's taking the world of ballet by storm. Some dancers describe performing ballet as dreaming on your feet. And for Leroy, his dreams have taken him across the world. Having achieved a number of accolades across various competitions, he is about to set the stage for possibly one of his greatest accomplishments yet. Leroy has been making a name for himself since winning silver at the SA International Ballet Competition two years ago. And last year, he won a top ballet competition in London. I started in grade two. Um, we were asked to choose an extramural activity at school. And I didn't know what ballet was in the list, and I just picked it, and here I am. <laughs> and along the way, what have been some of your greatest challenges, and how have you overcome them? Being a ballet dancer, being short, not having the perfect feet, not having like, the perfect body type to be a ballet dancer. And like, it kind of motivates me when people say that, because I just want to prove them wrong in a way and that motivates me. <laughs> and what would you say your greatest successes have been? Last year at the Jeanne International Ballet Competition, when I received a gold medal and an audience choice medal. At the recent Prix de Lausanne in Switzerland, Leroy won a scholarship to the ballet school of his choice. He is only the second South African in 44 years to win this prestigious prize. How do you feel about winning the scholarship and what does it mean for your career? And that means I get to choose whichever school I want to go to around the world. At the moment, I know which school I do want to go to, but I don't want to rush into things. I just want to finish school in South Africa and then we'll see how it goes from there. As talented as Leroy is, it takes a lot more than just natural ability to prepare for a competition like this. Training for long hours with a dedicated coach who has your best interests in mind is an important part of the journey. He will be competing at the biannual SA International Ballet Competition where dancers from around the world perform in ballet and contemporary style. Leroy's progress for the competition, he has actually had to add in variations for the SAIBC because we only did one classical variation which we repeated in rounds for Prix de Luzon. I really hope that he matches all the technical demands that he has set for himself in the contemporary as well as his ballet variations. Preparing for the upcoming competition is really exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time. We have to prepare classical variations and a contemporary variation. So yes, I'm really excited. Okay, who would you say is going to be your biggest competition? Even though I'm competing against internationals from around the world, I see myself as my biggest challenge. And going forward, what are your hopes and dreams for your career and your future? Hopefully I get to travel overseas and learn like different techniques and gain more knowledge and become a better dancer. This young man is building his career one pirouette at a time, but the sky's the limit for this teenager dubbed SA's own Billy Elliot. Well, congrats to Leroy and also all the best with your career. Well, the South African, or rather the international South African ballet competition is taking place from the 23rd until the 28th of February. It's all happening in Cape Town at Artscape and you can attend too. Tickets are available only through Artscape Online. Well, it's time to look at more youth sport action. Over to you guys.